Two words. Club soda. Which monster invented this excuse for a drink? If I wanted to drink poison, I would. But I don't want to be deceived into thinking it's some kind of pop before I do. What do I hate so much about club soda? It's this really awkward water pop combination. Now you may be thinking, that doesn't seem too bad. But it is! Let's break it down into its components of soda and water. Now, what's the worst thing about water? It doesn't really taste like a whole lot of anything. What's the worst part about pop? Despite its overload of sugar, which is actually a delicious thing, the worst thing about pop is probably its overcarbonation. Put those two things together and what do you get? You guessed it. Love soda! It bothers me how much people in movies and TV order this as some kind of non-alcoholic option. After you drink club soda, you're going to be so depressed from the fact that this stuff exists, you're going to want to drink alcohol. It's one of the most counterintuitive things that's ever existed. I know that people use club soda for their mixed drinks and whatnot. Don't! Don't add straight pop to alcohol when you can just add alcohol to pop. It tastes good and it gets you drunk. But there is one practical use for club soda. If I ever get really down or depressed, I will drink club soda as a reminder that there exists something on this planet worse than my own problems.